Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I have been working on the video you are about to see for several hours now. It was super long, and I apologize in advance that even though I did a lot of editing, it's still super long. I know some of you love them long, so at least I feel good for you guys, but for the rest of you, hey, skip through, try to find the good parts. But I want to say something first, because I already know what kind of comments I will get because of something that I did in this video. And I want to explain to you that everything I did in this video is allowed by law. It is allowed by federal law. It is allowed by YouTube law. So I don't want people thinking that I have done something illegal. The last thing I want to do is get in any kind of trouble. So I make sure and I read up before I do stuff. So you're going to see a part of this video where I have my camera in my purse recording a conversation with me and other employees. They do not know that I was recording. By law, they do not need to know. I'm going to do an actual whole video about this law and, and read through it and explain it to you. So I know there are other people out there who do YouTube and you're probably petrified, like, can this person be in the video or what if you hear somebody talking in the background? I'll explain to you when it's okay, when it's not okay in a separate video. But I just want to tell you that for the sake of this video, I will link you to, it is the um, Digital Media Law Project. When you go to the actual laws, it's hard to read everything and understand it. They pick it apart for you and let you know what it is that is being said. And they also link you to those laws so that if you want to go read the stuff that you need to be a lawyer to understand, you are free to do it. So. I thought my light, my headlight was flickering. This one flickers. I just like them so much. These are really, really good in the dark if you want to read. Okay. Oh my God. The video was long enough and I'm making it longer. I am a ball of nerves still from what I went through today. And you can tell. Seriously, you might need to take a pill just to watch this because I'm spastic throughout the whole entire thing. This is the important part that I want to read to you. There is such a thing called one-party consent. If you are hiding a device to record a conversation, all you need in the state of Maine is a one-party consent. And the party that is doing the recording counts. So if I am recording a conversation between me and another person or a group of people, I am consenting to this so I can do it. I can record it. I can publish it because I consented and that's all I need is my consent. I know that sounds bizarre, which is why I'm going to link you to the rules. So if anybody wants to comment and say, no, I'm going to ask that you also link to where you are seeing that because I don't like it when people just say well, you can't do that and they have no proof to back it up. I'm willing to read anything anybody wants to share with me because I love to learn this stuff. So if you think that what I'm telling you right now is wrong and you leave a comment saying that I'm wrong, you really need to put also in there a link. It might get caught in review, but I will review it and I'll look at your link that you include and I will push that comment through so people can see. If you find something different than what I'm saying, please let me know. But it's got to be like, you know, reliable. I don't want you to just, you know, find somebody who said something in a chat room somewhere. Is there still such a thing as a chat room? But anyway, you know what I mean. Just don't say things that you're not sure of or that you can't show, you know, proof and to back up what you're saying. So with all that said, if you make it through this video, oh my goodness, you deserve a big award. Seriously, because it's long. So I'll try to be shorter next time. So enjoy for what it's worth. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I can't see a thing in the screen. It's all a glare. I'm terrible about knowing how to position myself when there's sunshine. Do you hear the sirens? Are they coming in here? They are! Let's look! They just pulled up there, and a fire truck is there. Well, maybe somebody isn't feeling well in the store. My goodness, no intro. 
Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is Thursday afternoon, way too sunny for me, but I needed an idea for a video. I also needed some peanuts, so I thought those two things can mix together and I can kill two birds with one stone. So I am here at Hannaford for peanuts because I have decided the small bags at Walmart just are not going to cut it for me. I'm a big peanut eater. Yeah, I gotta have some vices, don't I? So peanuts it is. It is hot in this car, but I hate to open the window because of two reasons. The wind and my big loud mouth attracts attention. Oh, oh, oh I'm, I am, I'm too, oh, I can put the AC on. That we can do, can't we? Hello, how do we do it? Oh my goodness. Ah, <sighs> won't be too loud, I don't think. Okay, I did my first Instagram notification to let you guys know that I was coming to Hannaford. Did any of you see it? Please tell me that you did. I have it so that when I post it on Instagram, it went automatically to Facebook, so that was cool, so I didn't have to go put it manually there. But I haven't figured Snapchat out yet. I started to read up on that one. I just look at YouTube for tutorials for all these things. And I learned quite a bit about Instagram. I'm going to really like Instagram. This might make me like my phone. It might. And I think I'm going to like Snapchat too. But I haven't done Snapchat yet. But I did notice that. Um, and I know some of you have been asking me if I have Twitter. And I've had Twitter for a long time. Like from way back when it first got popular, but I've never done anything to it other than have certain accounts hooked up, like my Facebook pages and my blog, apparently, too, so that anytime I post something, it automatically goes to Twitter. I have to, like, stop that, because if I post on my blog, it goes to Twitter, and then when I put it on my Facebook page, it goes to Twitter, and then when I put it on, um, 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 I don't know, something else, it goes to Twitter. So it's like every time I post something, three of them show up on Twitter. And that's a little bit much, I think. I have over 63,000 tweets. And I've probably looked at my account three times in five years. <laughs> so I'm going to start paying more attention. So I did tweet this outing. So I'm going to like that because like I said, I just like it when I say, hey, I'm going to Hannaford or hey, I'm going to Walmart or hey, I'm going to do some errands or, you know, I, I let you know. And then now I feel like some of you know, so I feel like you're right there with me right at this very moment, even though I'm smart enough to know you're not there. <laughs> but in my mind, I believe you are. So let's just go with my mind. Okay. I guess the man that I parked next to not only is he coming to his car, but he's coming on my side. Oh my god. It's a man. It's a man. Look at how tense I am. I mean, I'm like, oh, 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 just because a person walked by. Do you know that my social anxiety is worse now that I'm doing YouTube? It's because I have such an outlet with YouTube that it's like, I just want to forget that there's actual humans in this world. I'd rather just talk to you in there. But somebody did ask me, they're like, how can you be so bubbly and talkative or whatever and do YouTube if you have social anxiety? It's because I'm all alone when I'm doing this. Even though I believe you're there, I don't do well with the human race at all. Deep breath. The man is walking by the front of my car. He was nice, though. He went and put his... Oh, my God. Now, this guy had to be the type to back into the space and scared me. He scared me, and he's going to be coming out. I thought he was going to hit the corner of my car. Okay, I'm still tense. Oh, my God. All right. Anyway, the first guy put his carriage away in the corral, so that was pretty cool. And this guy is the particular type that has to back into the parking space. See? That's social anxiety. I freaked out just because other people want to go shopping. 
Yeah, the camera is different. And I still, though, I still suffer great anxiety when I actually push publish when I upload a video because I know now I will be seen by many and I'm like, oh, what if, what if they don't like it? What if I sounded stupid? What if I looked dumb? You know, and my hair was crooked and I didn't notice and, oh, uh, you know, I just, I do, I worry all the time, you know? You guys seem to think I'm doing okay, so I'm just going to keep on doing all right, let's go in the store. I'm getting peanuts. I will be getting my usual gigantic bags, one of each, salted and one unsalted. But I also want some lettuce. I bought some romaine lettuce the other day when I took you guys to Walmart, and then that head of lettuce is almost gone now. So I'm going to be doing salads a lot this summer. Lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, radishes, cucumbers. I even like... Um, broccoli and cauliflower on my salads. All canned vegetables. I'll even open a can of beets and have a couple beets. I like to pickle the beets first. I know we can buy pickled beets, but it's cheaper to just pickle them myself. Add a little bit of vinegar, let it soak for overnight, and pickle beets you have. Mmm, hard-boiled eggs. Ooh, I should buy some eggs while I'm here too because they're usually pretty cheap here. So lettuce, eggs, peanuts. I will look at the meat in case they have anything marked down. My mother, believe it or not, does not need any bread. She still has a whole loaf because I stocked up for her. So a whole loaf should last her at least two more days. <laughs> she really does eat like six to eight slices of bread every day. Okay, let's go in, let's go in, let's go in. And of course, I am taking you with me. So, and you know what I forgot? My $9 um, receipt, no, what is it called? Thing, <laughs> which just sounds better than receipt all of a sudden. For clink, clink is for, I don't know if it's all across the United States, but... And I know not all states have bottle deposits, but here in Maine, we have, among other states, we have a five cent bottle deposit on bottles and cans, like soda, stuff like that. Also on juice, like big bottles of juice, I believe are 15 cent deposits, and even on bottled water. So we have to pay that deposit, and they encourage you to recycle by returning those items and you get your five cents back. So here we have a machine that's called Clink. You just bag all your cans and stuff and you, you give them to Clink and then it, they will scan that and the money goes in your account. Then you can scan your little tag. Oh my God, what a long story for nothing. And you get a little piece of paper that comes out of the machine and tells you how much you've got. And you can use that right here at Hannaford. And so I have one for $9 that I keep forgetting to use. And it is on my desk at home, not here in my purse. So I won't be using it again today. So next time, I hope I can remember to bring my $9 with me so I can put it toward my groceries. Okay, let's go in and um, have some fun. I had to make a detour all around the inside of the store because when I came in the store, I saw somebody that I knew from the corner of my eye and that instantly puts me in panic mode and I run away. So I went all in the opposite direction and I'm one of those people that likes to shop going in the same direction every time. So I'm waiting for that person to leave the store so I can go to the lettuce. See, that's social anxiety. My heart is racing. I just don't want to have to say hi. don't want to have to do small talk. I just, I just don't. So, uh, deep breaths. I'll get through it. But it's funny how I said, well, I'll go look at the meat. I can't start by looking at meat. Not when I need lettuce. I've got to go to that area first. So let's go get lettuce now, I think. I think I've waited long enough. My mother just asked for cantaloupe. So two for four bucks, I'm gonna buy one. Yummo. And the red seedless grapes are only $1.49 a pound. No, they're sweet, but I'm getting some. Okay, the red leaf lettuce is on sale for 99 cents. I'm getting that. And I'll also get a head of romaine for $1.99. I'm, I'm moving through the store counterclockwise like I like. So that means uh, I can comfortably look at meat now. I just walked by a whole bunch of people with the camera in my hand. And I don't care. Oh my god. 
I just got stopped by an employee because I thought it was because I had a camera and he's like, no, just want to make sure you're finding everything okay. It's like, yes. Hi. Hi. Yeah. I mean, it is a policy. I mean, I... Can I see the policy? Fortunately, no. I mean, I wouldn't bring it up and do this to you if it wasn't... Yeah, but I, I would like to see the policy. If it's in the policy. Yeah, it's not like a, a legal one. It's a Hannaford policy legal policy. Can I see it, please? I'm not... I don't know if you're allowed to. I can ask my manager. Let's go. Let's go ask him. Let me uh, call him. Okay. I'll be right back. I got busted big time. I'm gonna leave my camera on in my purse. The store manager's on his way. Okay. You guys could certainly give me permission if you wanted to. Do you really give anybody permission? I mean, I just don't think that that's something I can do. I'm just really curious as to what even is. Are you the manager? I'm one of them. Oh, is that who I'm waiting for? Uh, no, oh, okay. he's on his way right now. Okay. Well, I know he he got somebody for me. I thought it was you. Oh, is it something I can answer though? Um, uh, about videotaping while in the store. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're probably just like that. Um, we don't normally allow it. We, we actually, um, we have to get a, a release from our corporate office. Well, see, there's a, there's an answer you didn't give me. But, oh, getting a release from our corporate office to videos? Yeah, yet? I was asking. I'm sure that I could have permission if I wanted, so if I could talk to corporate, maybe I'd get permission. Okay. Can I ask what you're videotaping for? It's, I just let people know what's on sale, show people what I buy. I bring people to your store. Yeah. I, is this who I'm waiting no. for? No. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't I know, know anybody. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but let's all just gather <laughs> have an audience. Yeah, I'm not sure if it would be customer relations or if it would be yeah. someone from media relations that you would need to speak with. Because a lot of people get to permission blog. to do this yeah. in the stores. Yeah. And yeah, and it, that's all they just, just we, they like to know who's doing it, what you for. Need right. You need to know um, someone, yeah. or had it done in like a... So they do, um... Because it just caught me off guard, because there was another guy that, like I said, the guy in the white meat coat, he walked by and he saw me with the camera, and he just walked by, and then he comes by, and he, you know, comes right up to me, and I was looking at meat, and he goes, can I help you with something? And I said, no. So I asked him, I said, are you approaching me because you saw me with the camera? And he said, no, it was you. You yes. did see me with the camera, didn't you? Excuse me. Uh, when you walked by. Yeah. Him, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you could have just told me. I asked you. That's, That's what. what. I don't know. Yeah, but he wouldn't know what to do. Yeah, I know. Know. Well, I know, but lying isn't a good start. So. <laughs> I don't know. I just saw you with the camera, but I wasn't talking. No, but I asked you if you saw me with the camera, and that's why. you like, no, no. no. I require <laughs> a minimum of 12 people around me. <laughs> <laughs> I got caught with a camera. I do videos for my blog, which is darlingmisha.com, oh, okay. and I've been doing it for a long time, and I, was, I just was curious to know because Hutton, AJ, yep. you know, said that it's in the policy. Policy, big word for me. Yep. I have to see it in the policy. If it's not in the policy, then I can understand if the store itself just doesn't want it, yeah. but then I would like to know, maybe I can get permission from somebody. I don't just take a don't do this for an answer. Yeah. No, um, it would have to be permission through media relations at our corporate office. Uh -huh. So anybody who comes in, like if WCHS X6 is on site or is going to be doing anything, they get permission through them first. So we, we don't allow it in the stores except through our media relations. But department. it's in a policy somewhere? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. that is what I need to yeah. see. Yeah, I, I don't have it on me, okay. but I, I do you know I do know it exists, and I've had the... You know, How do I before. see it? Um, you know, I can... Of it. Yeah. I'm not making uh, it up. I really don't have to Oh, I'm not saying that, it make, so. not making it yeah, up. No, I'm just saying that. Yeah. I just don't I just don't accept because I, I hear so many things. And to me, if somebody yeah. says well, we have a policy, it's in the policy, it's like, well show me. Yeah. That's well, all. Like I you say, know? I do know I've known the company right. a long time and I have to go through media relations for permission to film or take pictures in the store. Number, name, anything like that? Uh, How do I find yeah, that out? Yeah. Is it on the website? Yeah, you can get in contact with the number on the website and just ask for media relations and that's the department that handles anything that comes our way with that. All right. There are yeah. many reasons behind it. Yeah. You know, people yeah. could, be, could be filming for any number of reasons. Right. It sounds like you know, what you're doing is pretty harmless, but that isn't always the case with people. Right. So, yeah, yeah. You know, we have to protect the business. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Well, what is your name? Ron Sullivan. Ron Sullivan. All right. Thanks. I'm so sorry. No talking about me. 
this girl got busted. Busted big time. I had a group of people surrounding me. It's like, it was so weird. First, a guy walked by and saw me holding a camera at the meet. And he walked by and I could tell by the way he looked at me that he obviously saw me with the camera. So I ended up putting the camera away just because I was looking at my meet. And he comes back from behind me and turns and puts his face like right like at mine and says, can I help you with anything? And I said, no. And he's like, um, I didn't have the camera on for this. And he's like, uh, I just want to make sure you're finding everything all right. Is there any problem? And I was like, no. So he walks away, and I went up to him because I couldn't leave well enough alone. And I said, did you approach me because of my camera? And he's like, huh? And I said, you saw me with a camera? He's like, oh, no. No, I just wanted to know if you were okay, if you needed anything. And I said, but that was pretty weird that you just came after me to see if I needed help. So he's like, no. In, so he walks off. So at this point, I take my camera back out and I start looking at things and another guy comes up to me and he says, you know, excuse me, he was, he was really nice and I know he hated to even confront me. I like that kind of person, which is probably why I didn't lose my cool. He's like, you know, we're going to have to ask you not to record in here. He's like, I saw you over in produce, he said, and I thought, well, maybe she's just going to do it right there and she won't record anything else. He's like, but we can't allow you to record in this store. At some point, I turned the camera back on. I was like, why do I forget that I can just leave that camera on in my purse. So I did get some of the conversation, I think, I hope, and I got the whole, you know, it's in the policy, and of course, I want to see the policy. I have the right to see the policy. If you're going to tell me it's in the policy and that's why I can't do it. The thing is, is I don't care. If they don't want me to do it, I don't care. I won't do it. But they should say, we just don't want you to do it. Just us. We're, we're not camera friendly people in this neck of the woods. So, you know, but it's like when they start saying, oh, it's in the policy and then, oh, well, I don't know. He goes, well, it's not like in the legal policy. And it's like, and I know it's not in the legal policy because I know some of you have mentioned to me before that I need permission to film anybody anywhere. No, you do not need anyone's consent to record them or to publish Publish them on YouTube if you are in a place where privacy is not expected. Now, one place that privacy is not expected is in a store. You are in a public place and you know there are security cameras everywhere in that store. It's not private. So, it's I don't need permission from anyone to put their face on YouTube. I try to be respectful of people and like I don't think I've ever recorded a child. Um, I don't think I ever would, but I certainly, if people walk behind me or by my car and you see people, I'm not going to go through the pains of blurring out everybody's face. Just don't need to. Just like if you're walking on the streets, you're walking at the beach, there is no consent needed to put somebody's face on YouTube. And I know this because I looked up YouTube's rules. So that probably puts the end of my tag along to Hannaford's. Or maybe not. Who knows? Maybe I'll still be brave. You know, Shaw's stopped me for a while because they didn't like it, and I did it because I was so worried about them taking the flyer away from me, but now I don't care. So when I go to Shaw's, I just bring the camera, and I don't care if they say, we don't want you in this store anymore. I'll be like, bye-bye. Anyway, I got lettuce. I got uh, one roast. Did I? Did I get the meat or not? I can't even remember now. I was blinded by anxiety. But see, stuff like that, it's still... Jeez. It bothers me so much when somebody parks next to me and the door opens. I don't even like the sound of an opening and shutting door. I really am hard to get along with. <laughs> That's why I like to be home. I don't like to be out where there's people and doors and noise and non-camera lovers. What was I going to say? I'm sure it was so important. Can't remember what I was talking about at all. Just can't. Just can't. Oh yeah, I think I was talking about what I bought. Oh yeah, social anxiety. So of course that made me anxious talking to, and I'm telling you, there were like five or six people. Everybody that came by just stood like, stood there like they wanted to hear. I was waiting for the store manager to come or whatever, and everybody's like gathered, and it was like, good God. Completely was talking it was the anxiety speaking, a ball of nerves, again, like I said, spewing things out, no idea what I said, how I look, how I acted, did I go like this, did I, I mean, you know, I just don't know, I just don't know, but 
seeing somebody that I might have known years ago or that might say hi to me, that knows me, I, ah, I, will, I will leave a store before I talk to that person. I don't like that. And it really isn't because I don't want them to see me. I, I don't want to see them! You know, I just, I just don't want anything to do with it. It's like, go, go away from me. I remember meeting a woman when I was a teenager. I don't know, it was a, a double date or something with an older couple. And, you know, older. She was probably all of maybe 20, you know? <laughs> so, you know? <laughs> and she would tell me about how she was so petrified of people. She's like, if I go to the beach and somebody's like walking toward me, she's like, oh, I just like, please, please don't come to me. Please don't say hi to me. And I was like, wow, I feel like that. But of course, I didn't feel like that as much then because I had the bottle to help me get through life. So probably the main reason I drank is because I had such bad social anxiety. <sighs> okay, that was... That was scary. Well, it'll make for a good tag along with me video, I hope. And I know some of you are going to be like, ha ha, you deserve getting caught because some of you want to insist it's wrong, that I'm doing something wrong, but I'm not. I'm not. And if you think it's wrong, well, you can still keep watching my videos because your views count as much as anybody else's. As a matter of fact, the haters are really good for giving views. I haters love to watch what they hate. They love it. They want to see what is she doing this time. Uh, if she's going to be fat and ugly, I can say so in the comments. But the comments don't get through because I got fat and ugly on the blacklist. Got a lot of those, so... <laughs> I don't really even mind either, but I don't want my little Skylar to be sad that somebody's calling her meme fat and ugly, or whale, or a pig. You know, I've been called all those things. Don't think everybody's nice to me, because they're not. I'm on a tangent! Oh, I'm, I'm so nervous. My stomach is like this. But those people, I gotta tell you, kudos to them. And if they're watching this, I don't know, the guy's name was Ron... Sullivan, I think. I don't know if he's the store manager or whatever, but he was nice, smiled. A.J. Hutton smiled. There was a woman there talking, smiled. There was another guy there, I don't know, a passerby who just joined the party, smiled. None of these people had the attitude of those at Shaw's. None of them. They were all nice and friendly and joking and laughing and smiling. It's the smile that's so important. Why do I always want to say the T so loud in important? I guess I should go. Don't you think? Hot alert! So hot! The woman next to me is on her phone. The man directly in front of me is on his phone. What did people do? You know, when I grew up, oh, I don't know. Derek was probably 10 years old before we had more than one phone in the house. We always had one phone in the house. One phone on a cord. But my daddy, and it was a pink phone, and my daddy got us an extra, extra long, you know, the coily from the handset to the big thing that you had to actually go... So we could, like, move, a, you know, a few feet away from the phone. And then he got an extension for the jack. So we could bring the phone in the hallway for privacy. And then he had a jack installed upstairs. So at night we could unplug the phone and bring the phone upstairs. That was uber cool. We had the pool the year Derek was born, 1978. I could bring the phone out onto the deck with me. And in those days, if you were expecting a boy to call, you stayed home because there was no cell phone. There was no texting. There was no answering machine. You stayed home and prayed for the phone to ring so that it would be the boy calling. And if somebody else called you like, I gotta go! I gotta go! I'm expecting a call! And you'd hang up real fast and wait and wait and wait. Sometimes they didn't call. That was sad. <laughs> I can't even imagine being a teenager and, and having a crush on somebody. You know, it's like, gee whiz, everybody's at your fingertips. Hi, hi, I miss you, I miss you too, Ah, Can you tell that I'm running on nerves right now? Oh, I just don't like getting caught. And they still were gathered after I left and I went back on purpose because they were still gathered. You can't tell me they weren't talking about me, they were. So anyway, I'm going to call corporate. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm going to email 
corporate. I don't want to call anybody. And um, just for the heck of it, let's see. Can I have permission? Can I have permission to record in your store? Certainly can't hurt to ask. I asked Dollar Tree. They were like, no! <laughs> Dollar Tree had meanies in there too. Let's go. Let's go get this uploaded and uh, I'm going to go home and sit in front of the fan blowing on me 100 miles an hour so that I'm like, Wah. Ooh, look, a facelift. <laughs> All right, mes amis, thank you so much. Please thumbs up. You can give a thumbs down if you want. Ain't going to make me cry. Thumbs up is better. I don't even know. Do I even care about thumbs up? Does anybody in the YouTube world who does this as a business know if thumbs up matter? I don't think they matter at all. I know subscriptions matter only if you are a subscriber who watches. I have learned that it is better to have quality subscribers, not quantity subscribers. People who will like subscribe, like I got a lot of subscribers from my haircutting video. A lot of times people will subscribe because of a video but then they don't like your other stuff and they don't watch that hurts your rating in the YouTube world of monetization if your percentage of scribers scribers I'm gonna call you my scribers I, I know I know I'm talking to myself if your percent I've, I've started this sentence over like probably 20 times if your percentage of subscribers that actually watch your videos is low, that hurts. So you want to have organic subscribers who just flock to you because of the magnetism that you're attracting. Then they will most likely watch. It's better to have, what I'm saying is, it's better to have a low number of subscribers who are devoted than a ton of subscribers who are not. And I'm pretty confident that my subscribers are a little bit devoted. And I love that. And I appreciate it. So let's not worry about how many subscribers I get. I've been looking at some statistics on other people. And I see people with way more subscribers than me making less than me. And, I, you know, you know I am in this for the long haul to hopefully have it be my income that supports me. But the main focus for me, number one and always, this is my therapy. So whether I make a dime or not, I'm going to be continuing to do YouTube. That's all there is to it because I need it and it's free therapy. So at least I get therapy. And sometimes I help you guys a little bit and I, and I love that too. That's just a bonus. But you guys are helping me and I appreciate it. Okay, I'm sure I was a complete ASS -S in there. Guarantee you that when I watch the footage, I will be like, oh. <laughs> It'll be a good video for my haters. I love my haters. They really are devoted followers because they love to hate. Oh my God, it's the manager. Should I ask him to come say hi? I'm so embarrassed! <laughs> He's right in front of my car. <sighs> I should go say hi to him. That would be too funny. I wish I could get him. But I can't. Ah, he's in his car. What would I have possibly done? Ask him to say, He waved to me! <laughs> Jeez, you can't see him. All right, and I really don't even, I'm gonna park. I don't like to do this because I scare you guys. That other time that my camera went flying, it's not because I um, got hit. It's because I had stopped and then when I started, my camera flew. Okay, let's go home. Let's go homely and um, Oh my God. All right, I need to relax big time. But this is it. This is what social anxiety is like. Anxiety in general. I am a ball of anxiety. I'm totally embarrassed, totally embarrassed. You think I ever wanna go in that store again now? I don't. I probably won't even remember what those people look like and I'll be seeing them and I'll be like, oh my God. I need to say a proper goodbye to you. And I don't know, we're, we're in the dark, kind of, aren't we? 
I didn't park in a good place. All right, that is it. I will be back with more soon, I hope. I'm going to be running out of places to bring you because nobody wants me in their stores. We'll always find a way. I'm telling you. Hidden camera is the thing I need. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up. I guess. I don't know. Please subscribe. That part I like. Oh yeah, but only if you think you're going to watch my videos. You don't think you're going to be addicted to me? You don't have to subscribe. I only want quality subscribers, not quantity. That's my new thing. All right. Thank you so much. And I will be back with more soon, whether you like it or not. 